Hey, what's up guys? Today's video is gonna be our view on Link, which is a language learning platform for the computer and for mobile devices that allows you to learn languages through reading and listening. It's been devised by Steve Kaufman, who is a prolific polyglot online. You've probably seen his YouTube videos or you follow him on Twitter. He speaks about 10 languages well, and I believe he speaks uh, a variety of other languages to varying extents. Uh, so he really knows his stuff when it comes to language learning. I've been using Link for about two months now, so I'm really starting to get a good feel about uh, how it works and the best practices for using it. And I just wanted to do a quick review today to let you know my opinions and my feelings about this platform. The basis of the platform is that you're going to be reading a lot of material within the app. You can use material that's already available straight from the app, or you can copy and paste from any source you want. I've copied and pasted the lyrics from several songs since music is one of my favorite ways of learning languages. Once you select something that you want to start reading, just open it in Link and you'll see that all of the words are highlighted in blue. When you don't know a word, you just click on it and you'll be given a definition. Link will also save that word in your account as a word you don't know. And then they'll automatically make it into a flashcard so you can review later. Every time you turn the page, Link will assume that all of the blue words you didn't click on are words you already know. Link will remember those words, and from now on, whenever you see them, they won't be highlighted anymore. After you read several hundred pages, you'll notice that most of the words are no longer highlighted. And that's the goal. You want the words to go from blue to yellow to no highlight at all. That means you're learning new vocabulary. I like this method of vocabulary acquisition better than rote memorization because you're actually encountering the words in context. Most of the articles and books that come available on Link are already connected to an audiobook or an audio clip of someone reading the article so that you can listen along while you read. I find this to be a great way of improving your listening comprehension skills. Another great feature of Link is that it includes a built-in MP3 player where you can listen to the audio from your books and articles even while you can't read. A lot of times I listen to it in the car or while I'm taking a walk. If you've ever seen any of Steve Kaufman's videos before, you know that he's a huge fan of the comprehensible input method popularized by the linguist Stephen Krashen, and that's what Link revolves around. It's great because there's no drilling, no exercises, and no tests. All you do is read and listen to the content that's interesting to you. Now, while I think Link is a great platform, there's just a few areas where I think it falls a little bit short of being the perfect, all-encompassing language learning app. First of all, you do need some level of proficiency in your target language before you start using Link. They do their best to make it accessible to beginners, but from my experience, it's just not a great program if you're starting from scratch. I took a short trip to northern Belgium and the Netherlands this summer, so I decided that I'd try my hand at learning some very basic Dutch. I tried doing this on Link, but honestly, I was just swimming in a sea of blue words that I didn't understand, and I couldn't make any sense of it, and it just didn't help me at all. Ironically, this is the one area that I think Duolingo really shines. You can watch my review of Duolingo by following the link at the top of this video, but essentially I found that program to be only useful for those who have no previous knowledge of the language they're learning. That means that I find Duolingo and Link to complement each other really well. After maybe a few weeks to a month of learning a language on Duolingo, you'll probably have enough vocabulary and grammar to follow along with the beginner units on Link. There's also a spaced repetition flashcard feature on Link, but honestly, I find it to be a little bit weak. That's not a huge deal, because if you're really serious about spaced repetition, you can always use your vocabulary list on Link to create your own customized decks on Memrise or Anki. Overall, I'd give Link a solid A. This might be the most useful language learning program I've used so far, and I would recommend it to anyone who has at least a basic knowledge in the language they're learning. Just a word of caution though, before purchasing a subscription to Link, I tried the free trial version and honestly, I thought it really sucked. But I'm glad I gave it another chance because the paid version is just a lot better and it's not that expensive. So if you're really serious about giving Link a chance, just buy yourself a month-long subscription and base your opinion off of that, not off the free version. 
So that's it for this review. If you liked the video, I'd really appreciate it if you gave me a thumbs up and subscribe. And if you're interested in seeing reviews on any other language platform, go ahead and leave me a comment down below because I'm always looking for new ways of learning languages, new techniques that I can experiment with. Um, and the reason I made this video in the first place is because someone commented and asked me to review Link. So thanks for watching the video and we'll see you guys in the next one.